you girls, Cyclonic Wolfos, and we're howling back at you with another episode of our Pokemon Soul Silver Solak Randomizer Nuzlocke. We are making progress. It's been a while since I recorded, so I'm gonna go do a quick team recap, mainly for my sanity. But we got Eclipse, our Shell Bell Lunatone that's hasty with immunity, so it can't be poisoned. It's got Psychic, Rock Throw, Confusion, and Hypnosis. That's pretty nice, pretty nice. And. We also got Stallion, which is our Tauros. It's a docile Silk Scarf Pressure Tauros with the Giga Impact in Headbutt Pursuit and Cut. Not bad stats after all. Not bad. We got Kaiju, our Furo that's AC with Bright Powder plus bad ability. But Drill Pack, Aerial Ace, Aerosol, Aerosol, Assurance, Pursuit, Aerosol. I've, I've, I've been thinking about flying type moves apparently. But yeah, it's Assurance and that. Then we got our boy Y T Kong, the dark rock type Tyranitar with the Rash Scopelins, Sniper, Crunch, Earthquake, Dark Pulse, and Stone Edge. I know Dark Pulse is the greatest because it's a special move, but look at that special attack stat. You can't tell me I'm wrong and just fine. They actually have a special move on there. So yeah. Then we got Fazzy, our Grass Poison, Mild, a Miracle Seed Venusaur with Static. With Petal Dance, Leaf Storm, Poison Powder, and Growth. Got that high special attack stat, which helps in the pinch. And then we got our Eruption, our Calm, Flame Plating Magmortar with Cute Charm, Flamethrower, Lava Plume, Sunny Day, and Confuse Ray. We also, if you guys don't remember, the pairings were Kaiju and YT Kong are paired together, Fazzy and Stallion are paired together, and Eclipse and Eruption are paired together. I didn't plan on having two E names together, but eh, it works. It works. But that is our team. Moving forward, we're gonna make our way to Koga. Let's try at least to make our way to Koga. Ah, oh, it's a double battle, eh? I think Eclipse and Stallions got this. It's a double battle, eh? I can't dodge it. I'm gonna avoid as much trainers as possible. But eh. Or I'll, I'll be able to show for there. I love to look at my boyfriend's face and profile while he's battling. Uh, while you're battling, you should pay attention to your pro uh, Pokemon. Not your... your it's got Remoraid and Glaceon. I, I don't know why, like, Glaceon has kind of scared me. Do I want to stay on a Remoraid? I think I'm right, you'll just die. I sure now. Ow. Forgot you had priority moves. Forgot you had priority moves, man. Yeah, like I said, the Remoraid's not Levin. The Lemonade is not Lemonade. Limin Apparently it's Lemonade. Okay, I guess that's what I gotta name it next. Don't miss your rock throw, man. Glaceon's more, uh, especially crap. Where's she a bite to? Will you land a rock throw, man? Stall I guess you won't get a chance to land a rock throw now because Stallion just killed it. Bruh. Stallion putting the work over here, killing everybody. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Bruh. Bruh. Fun. That was Snorlax I can do soon. Yeah, we're gonna try to go for Koga's gym next. Route 11. Do I have my encounter for Route 11? This will be able to let me know. I have not. But it ain't. Everybody's blowing up my phone today. Alright, what's our encounter gonna be? Apparently nothing. Alright, there we go. Like, apparently nothing. I'm trying to remember that the dupes or not. Apparently not. Because I thought I had a Cubone in this game. Apparently I did not have a Cubone yet. I should have just talked to Quick Ball. Forehead. Uh. 
I think that it was actually platinum that had a cube on it. Not a hundred percent sure. I need to get more Pokeballs than that. That's right, that Rayquaza that I was trying to catch last time took all my balls. Right. Right. Don't take all my balls right quick, quick. Keep on caught. Cubone's caught. Right there, lonely Cubone. This will be Gravekeeper. If I can fit it. I don't think I can fit it. Yeah, I can fit it. No, I cannot. It's okay, I'll be Grave Keep instead. Instead of Grave Keeper, I'll be, uh, Grave Keep. Grave Keep. I forget what I normally name them, that's why I'm going with that one. Also. Right. Encounter for Snorlax will be. I heard it was like Nidorana. Yeah, it was a Nidorina. Mike, sounds like a Nidoran or something. Nidorina. I don't think I have a Moonstone. Kinda scary. Nidorina, eh? Yeah, like it sounded like a Nidor... What are the Nidor lines? Ladder? I should've used a Quick Ball. Special Attack Rose. Clips don't miss. Or hurt yourself. Toxic Spikes. So you got Flatter, you got Toxic Spikes. What's the other move you showed? I forgot what it was. And that wasn't an attack move. Ah, that was a crit. That went burr. Have to be. So what's your attack move? I'm guessing it's a poison move, and that's why you're not using it. See how it was with an Ultra Ball? If not, I'm gonna try to put it to sleep next turn. Well, I'm not trying to put it to sleep next turn. Boom! Shaka laka laka boom! Nidorina is caught. We can also get our next encounter immediately afterwards, too, because we can go to Diglett Cave. I don't Nidor Queen's not the best, but I wouldn't mind. Also, I'm counting those two lines separately, so I could get a Nidor King and a Nidor Queen. I am counting them two different, even though they're basically the same species, female, male, but I count them separately. This is Elizabeth. Elizabeth, gonna come back from the grave. Will she conquer everything? I don't know, I don't know. I think the last one Elizabeth was in was black. Two. I think she was last in black too, I don't remember. I know she was an emerald, for sure. I don't remember if she was in black, too. I don't think she was in platinum. She was in Ultra Moon. I forgot I did Ultra Moon. But that was a randomizer on Sleepwalk on my uh, Twitch channel. Alright, we're going in here. Diglett's cave to get a Diglett. It's not really gonna be a Diglett, but eh. But... Yeah, I forgot about that. Exclamation point. Not exclamation point. I'm, I'm such a Twitch streamer. Uh, check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash cyclonicalofos. I am such a Twitch streamer. Exclamation point. Her. What's our encounter gonna be here? Alright. Well, thank God I'm big. Mewtwo? Hello! How are you? I doubt I can catch this thing, but dang son, that's some firepower! I knew it was a legendary because of the symbol and that, but dang son! Come on! Yeah, you're not gonna even stay in that bowl. I have no way to poke this thing. Thing is, I got the perfect lead for it. What 
I can do is weaken it. Let's get it weakened. I would put it on a timer of poison, but I'm guaranteed it with that. I want a confuse rate so I can make it hurt itself so I'm a, more of a less limited timer than a poison. So I could have poisoned it with Fazzy and then hurt it that way with Chip, but um, then I'm on a timer. And plus, Fazzy's weak too. It's like, I know it's a uh, Mewtwo level 15, but still, it's a Mewtwo. I don't know why I pressed Confuse Ray again. There we go, that's some chip damage. It's Sunny Day. Well, it's Sunny Day! And while we're fighting this Mewtwo. Uh, also, I don't know that number. So I'm not answering that call, because that's a Missouri number. Um. Okay, what I was trying to say is, while we're fighting this Mewtwo, I could ask you guys a question of the day. The day of recording this is the first day of PAX East, and sadly I could not go to PAX this year. Well, I really wish. But the question of the day for you guys, what do you think is the best way for you guys to reach out to other creators? Do you think it's through PAX? Do you think it's through DMs? Do you think it's through going into other creators' streams? Please don't go through other creator streams, man, because if you go through other creator streams, like, Hey, you want a multi with me? It looks really bad, so don't do that. But what do you think is the best way to do a connection with that? Build connections. Do you think it's through uh, things like that? I think it would have been cool to go to PAX to meet a bunch of my fellow creators. And such. Um... It would have been really cool to meet a bunch of people that were going that I knew were going. But I got grass, I could not swing it this year. And it would have been cool to meet up some of the friends that I've already met with in person. So it would have been a lot of fun to hang out with people. Ah. Plus it make it easier. I think it would be a little bit easier to make connections with people because then you can see the people's personalities offline as well as online. Because there's a lot of people that fake beat online, and people that fake offline. Stop raising your defense. Oh yeah, yeah, there's a lot of things that could go into that mix and such. Well, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below uh, if you're a fellow creator, or if you're thinking of uh, creating and thinking of ideas of that to be like, Hey, how would I meet people? I'm not gonna catch this thing. I don't know. It's a Mewtwo, come on, it's not even shaking, because it's not weak enough. I wanna put it on the poison timer, to be honest. Um, let's eat a Pokeball. I have more Pokeballs. They're not as expensive as Ultra Balls, so yeah. But, uh, hurt yourself. Come on, do it! He needs to hurt himself. I hate you. Let me disable your uh, move that you're trying to catch me with. Bruh. Bruh. Hurt yourself. Do it. Thank you. I think he's doing less damage to himself now. I know he's in the green and he's a view too, but come on. Let me yay to kiss a Pokeball. Uh, yay to kiss a Pokeball. Like, he wasn't staying in a quick ball. He's a Mewtwo. I used my Master Ball in your quick way. is no longer disabled. There you go. Get Confuse right in the face again. Theoretically, it could be up to four turns of Confusion that could hurt himself, but he's not hitting himself. It's like hacks all over again, man. Haxon, man! Haxon! Uh, bruh. Bruh. But yeah, I'm just probably gonna speed up through this and get to the point of either where I fail it or catch it. So I'll see you guys on the flip side with that again. So, gee, stay in the ball, please, Mewtwo. Pretty please. The cherry on 
helped out. I don't know why people say pretty please with cherry on top. Half the people don't like cherries, but I guess because it's a cherry on top. I remember when the McDonald's shakes used to have cherries on top. Weird thought. Weird thought of the matter. Weird thought of the matter, man. Alright. Go through all our Ultra Balls and maybe our Fast Balls. And then we'll probably call it there, man. Or just catch it now. Alright, let's catch him now, it's fine! We need to stock on the balls, but we gotta get ourselves some Mewtwo. Mewtwo! Fair enough. I guess you like the cherry on top. Never doubt it. Never doubt it. Alright. So, uh... We're gonna name you. This is gonna be weird. But because he liked Cherry... Gino Cherry. This is Gino Cherry. Our Mewtwo. What else could we have had here? Really nothing. Yeah, I didn't even get a chance to find out what else I could have had here. It's fine. Route 2. That's a new route. Alright. Let's go back over here and mark our things. Lavender Town, I don't think, has an encounter. And this one was... Rayquaza. We got real crazy here, because... We caught it in the water. We went fishing and caught ourselves a legendary dragon in the fishing pole. Um... This one was Mewtwo. Forgot what we caught. I'll have to look at the box again. So Mewtwo is paired with Nidorina. This one is... I'm gonna put a house. Because it's a Snorlax. But this was an arena. I forgot what we caught. It was Cubone. So, oh, I got Rayquaza and Marowak. D potentially paired together. Yeah. By the time I when I raise it, it'll be a Marowak. So it's a Cubone that we caught though. Like, what did I catch there, Cubone? We'll get our next couple encounters, and then we'll look at all our encounters. Sounds like a plan. We're getting a lot of encounters today. It's a lot of encounters. I forgot we are at the encounter-heavy part of the game. A repeat ball. Ah, we got a repeat ball back. The only reason we'd have repeat balls around is if we were catching a Pokemon or the same thing. Ugh. Oh. I need to restock my balls too. I've um curtain that so I haven't done that in a little bit, so when I wrap up the episode I'll go there. Yay, Agua and Nugget! See that's money, man. Route two. Sacred Ash. Too bad I can't use it. Thing is, do I want my Route 2 encounter down here? Calypsi Berry, eh? Or do I want it up there? 
I think I want it up here. Because we get better encounters usually up here. Judging by when you played Kanto, though, you got better encounters up here. I don't know if randomizers would imply the same factors, but I want my encounter here. Up to encounter is that's dupes. That's dupes because we have a beautiful law. Dupes. That's funny. That's an actual bug right outside the forest. Funny. Uh, is this one gonna be a remoraid? Well. All right. Remoraid's not a bad one. It's just not the greatest. It's not the greatest for things. Not really. same time, um, it's like, eh, Chaos Raid sounds a better idea. Chaos Raid! There you go, Chaos. Enjoy your raiding moat. Being a member of the team at some point or another. If I have to use Raid, what else could I have gotten here? Hey, look! Raid's like, hi! I'm back! Chaos 6 1 raid. I use that emote all the dang time. Alright, let's get our Viridian City encounter. Then we can head up to Pewter City. Grab our fossil encounters. Alright, Viridian Forest encounter is. That's dupes. Why is it dupes? Because I have a Star Raptor. I have a Star Raptor. Dang, that was quick to run into that. Altaria. Alright, I'll take an Altaria. I don't think I'll be able to catch this thing. We'll try. We'll try to catch this thing, but I don't think there's any way I can. Yeah, like I said, I don't think there's any way I can. I don't have a way to weaken it. Get that bruh. Put it to sleep and throw an ultra ball. Like I have no way to touch this thing. I put, I laugh. I look at it funny and it dies. Like I could put it to poison and put it on a timer and be like, hey, I don't like putting things on timers though. I really don't. Especially when it's something that could be good, like Altaria, and it could be a really good encounter. Could be a really good encounter. If I can catch this thing, that'd be nice. Also, I need to restock up on Ultra Balls before I even attempt more encounters because, yeah, I'm down to Quick Balls, Fast Balls, and like six Ultra Balls. Like, ee. Oh, I'll check another Ultra Ball. If it doesn't stay in, it's probably gonna wake up and then I'll put it on a timer, I guess, because I want to catch this thing. I really want to catch it. This should be fun. It would be a good, cool, cool encounter on the team. Woke up saying, You're trying to put me to sleep? Ha! Bounce get in here and poison this thing. Growl and Sing are the two moves you know currently. But Altaria, I call it Alscaria. You're on a timer now, so you better start getting in my balls. It's fine, you can put me to sleep. You can put me to sleep all you want, man. Oh, so you can tell Fazzy's using my go-to because it's higher level than the rest of the team. Uh, let's check, a uh, fastball. Because it is kind of fast. I call it Alscaria for a reason, man. 
We'll check all our fastballs, we'll check our repeat ball, and then we'll start checking ultra balls. Because, yeah, I need to restock on the balls definitely after this one. Let's sell our nugget by a bunch of ultra balls. Uh. Oh, look, Peck, you literally do like two damage, man. You literally like do two damage. So I'm just trying to weaken it, whittle it down, just whittle it down, man. And I'm asleep, so it doesn't matter if I wake up. Astonish. It's quite astonishing, man. Alright. Like I said, I wasted all my balls on Mewtwo. Was it a bad idea? Nah, it's actually caught it. Alright. I need to get it whittled down a little more, so... Before I start chucking Ultra Balls, I want it at least in the yellow. So I'm gonna waste turns. We're gonna waste turns! Let's get it down two more levels and then we'll chuck Ultra Balls. A little more level. Should be good. There yeah. Because we need to be uh, sure that we use all our Ultra Balls. If it dies, it dies. I'm sorry, I'll scare you. If you kill yourself, it's your own fault. It's like, I'm not killing myself, not today! Alright. And of course, I gotta go with all scare ya. Dragon flying. I mean, it could be good for later. Oh. Scare. Scare. Yeah. I'll scare ya. Cause uh, I made a pun on it. Cause it's an Altaria and it always always scared me. So yeah, let's go into the town. So we're not gonna go for our next encounter until afterwards. Let's go mark these encounters before I forget. Uh, Dig with cave, Viridian Forest. That one was all scary. -a. Not getting bad members. I haven't got to use an Altaria since. I think it was Emerald. And route two was Armory. Right? Yeah. Armory! This is a bit of a good way to keep track of the mons I caught, though, so. Yeah. Oh, hooray! Woo! And... Boom. And we can go back up here! I don't think we have to fight anybody. Uh, we could get a headbutt and get a... I think we can get an encounter in town. I think we can. So we're gonna switch out a mod for our head butter real quick. I'm surprised I haven't let my head butter die yet. I mean, I haven't even checked out our Quasar from last time, so we got a whole new team basically in that round of encounters. We got a whole new team from that round of encounters. That's fun. Before I, I'm, I'm no, I probably should buy more potion, Pokeballs before I do that, but eh. What is our encounter for Peter City gonna be? That's a dupe, so. It's fine, we can get away from it, go buy Pokeballs. Like, we got that in the set, we got that same thing in Cerulean City, like, bruh. Let's go to the market, buy some Pokeballs. Sell our nugget, grab the encounter, and then we can wrap up the episode, and then we can get the next episode with the fossils. And. Distracted by that. That gives us two premier balls as well. So we're good on Pokeballs now. I know I could sell my nugget, but eh. We're good on Pokeballs now. 
I should say all first. Yeah, we should heal first, then we can do that. And then we can wrap up the episode, because I know that Mewtwo cut took out a lot of the episode and such. So that Mewtwo took ever to catch. Uh, I hope it was worth it. We'll check in the next episode when we get our fossils and be like, hey. Hey. Uh. And butt tree. Chomper, headbutt. I get encounters really fast in this town. Uh, hoots. I think you can only get hit hoots, man. That's all I've been getting. That's all I've been getting. If all I can get is hoot hoots. Um. And, um. I don't think we'd get an encounter. Encounter? Encounter in this town. In this town! This encounter in the town! Yeah, the uh, trees are being. Who uh, hoots are there? Nothing. It's like, who hoot our bust? Who hoot our bust? Who hoot our bust? Who hoot our bust? Alright, what you getting, man? Wormful. I don't know if I count Wormpool as dupes or not because I had a Silicoon and a. Um, how about this? If it evolves into a Cascoon, it's considered dupes, and I get a token encounter. I mean, if it evolves into a Cascoon, it's a counter. If, I, if it evolves into a Silicoon, it's considered dupes at that point, and I'll get a token encounter. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do with Wormpool. Sounds like a good plan. That sounds like a very good plan, because you're never guaranteed. Mine usually evolve in the Chaos Coons. Mine usually evolve in the Chaos Coons, so I'm gonna name it as such if it were gonna be a Chaos Coon, but if it evolves into a Silicoon, we will get a token encounter. Alright. We got a good batch of encounters today, guys. But I think that's where I'm going to wrap up today's episode, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We got a bunch of encounters. We're getting a bunch of encounters in the next episode as well. So I'd appreciate it if you go leave a like and subscribe for more content from me. So you never miss out on any of the episodes that are coming out soonish. But for now, this is your girl, Cyclonic Wolfo, signing off. Stay safe, keep howling, and stay furious, my friends.